Hey everybody, it's Eric here with Spartan Auto Works. It's uh, bright and early on a Saturday morning. Late night last night. Went out and did a uh, mobile job in the middle of the night last night. It was a little bit farther away than I really should have wanted to agree to. But uh, last night brought up a, a good topic of discussion. Um, you know, there should be a lot of jobs that are really, really simple that turn into big headaches because the customer doesn't give the proper information to the mechanic or the locksmith or the person doing programming. Um, there's a few people in life you don't lie to. You should never lie to your spouse, but you know, if you do that, no big deal. You should never lie to your doctor at all, ever. You should probably never lie to your lawyer. And you never, ever, ever lie to your mechanic or whoever is working on your car. Information is key. When you go to the doctor, you try to tell him everything that's wrong with you. So he has all the, the information and tools at his disposal to make the correct diagnosis. So why won't you do the same thing when it comes to a mechanic locksmith or anybody working on your car? Like, it blows my mind. I can't tell you how many times, you know, shops are probably the worst about it, that, you know, you get there and two or three people have already, you know, tried what they want to try and then everybody throws their hands up, but nobody tells you that XYZ has already been done or we did this and then changed this, this has caused this problem, which is kind of leads into what happened to me last night. A couple other people were there before me, did a few things, and the customer knew all about it. The customer is very uh, tech savvy. Uh, not in the automotive field, but uh, an automotive person, so they, uh, they're very, they should have been able to communicate this. But what I don't understand is, you know, let's say this customer being the exception, I can't tell you how many times I've gone to a shop or one of my customers that I had a fire a while back, um, they brought me a truck one time that was already at the Ford dealer and the Ford dealer told them they couldn't do anything with it. And I spent three hours trying to go around what I thought was the problem, which it was, but it took me time to figure that out because nobody told me, Hey, we already took it to the Ford dealer. So when I called them and said, Hey, I have X, Y, Z going on, you know, what do you know about this? Oh, just, just need to program the body control module. Okay. Well, I don't like snooping around people's cars, but I'll tell you what, after that day, if somebody drops a car off to me or if I'm working on a car, you snoop the car because I found a, a invoice from Ford about what they had tried to do and what was the problem, which confirmed my, my uh, basically diagnosis. And I could have been to the finish line way quicker and not have to basically die at it uh, if I was given that information. But of course, you know, you follow up. Nobody can tell, tell your mechanic what's going on or what's been done. So if you want to spend less money and get your car diagnosed properly way quicker and not drive the guy who's working on your car up a wall, give him all the information. If somebody else has touched it, what do you know about what they've done? Do you have paperwork about what they've done? You tell your mechanic everything because... I cannot tell you why. I, I just don't get it. Why Why does it matter? Why do you leave it out? Just if somebody else has touched the car, if you've touched the car and you tried to do something and something went pop, just tell the guy who's trying to fix the car that. Like, it just, it's just, it's my pet peeve for Saturday morning. I'm super tired. And a quick job yesterday turned into a long job because... I had to figure out what had happened because I went in thinking 
nothing had happened and I didn't know anybody else worked on the car but just give that information up front be honest with your doctor be honest with your lawyer and be honest with the guy that's working on your car this is my early morning tired Saturday rant getting ready to go to another job here and uh, I'm just uh, I'm just flabbergasted years and years in this industry and it still seems to happen just tell the guy who's working on your car what's been done good bad or ugly give him all that information and uh, it'd probably save you a lot of money in the long run because you're not going to drive the guy who's working on your car up a wall chasing his tail trying to figure out what's been done or what has or what what was done and what hasn't been done because he hasn't been told that the car's been done or xyz he's been done to the car so just be honest that's saturday that's the saturday morning rant right there just be honest with your your mechanic y'all have a good one